All right, so it's been a bit quiet on the Mavic 4 Pro front, but Jasper Ellens dropped some fresh intel and yeah, things are getting interesting again. If you've been following along, you might remember the DJI RC track, that little GPS beacon designed to help drones track moving objects, even when they're out of sight. Well, turns out it's making a comeback and it's looking like a key feature for the Mavic 4 Pro. Here's the deal. Normally, when a drone loses visual contact with whatever it's tracking, you're kinda out of luck. But with the RC track, that's not an issue. This thing keeps the drone moving at just the right distance until the object comes back into view. Then, boom, it locks back on like nothing ever happened. And what's crazy is that it doesn't rely on AI or smart tracking. It's purely GPS based, meaning it could be a game changer for low light conditions or areas with tons of obstacles. And it's not just about keeping the drone locked onto a subject. DJI is making the whole process hands-free. You can take off, enable tracking, switch angles, and bring the drone back, all without touching the screen. Just press a few buttons on the new remote, set the distance, height, and direction, and you're good to go. Now, uh, according to Jasper Ellens in a recent Drone XL article, DJI originally planned to launch this with the Air 3S, but things didn't go as planned. Testers got their hands on early units and, well, let's just say there were crashes, a lot of them. Um, even experienced reviewers weren't comfortable using it, and considering they're used to beta testing DJI gear, that was a big red flag. So DJI pulled the plug, recalled all the test units, and went back to development mode. But here's where it gets interesting. Ellen shared a screenshot showing that when a phone connects to the Mavic 4 Pro, it immediately prompts a link to the RC track. That's a pretty clear sign DJI didn't cancel it, but instead decided to launch it alongside the Mavic 4 Pro. Now, there's a lot more to the RC track than I'm covering here, including some new features that um, make it even more useful. If you want the full breakdown, uh, check out the article on Drone XL. I've linked it in the description. But anyone looking for buttery smooth tracking shots, this beacon could be the perfect tool. Looks like DJI is finally ready to bring it to market. This time, hopefully, without the crashes. Let me know what you think. Does this sound like a game changer or just another DJI experiment? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Peace.